here, in our house. She thinks that I'm a murderer. Kyle is the suspect, not you. I'm only here because I am going to take you on a trip down memory lane. Do you remember the place I live called Fowlerston? Wow, this place is amazing. Are you sure you want to do this? I'm sure. That's strange. The microwave isn't working. Oh! We can't stay in a house full of creepy things going on. This house is haunted. No matter how innocent you are, you have to show your guilt. You have to tell Finn or anyone else about what you've done. You want me to confess to Emily's murder? You've got no choice. It's a letter from the mayor of Fowlerston. It's addressed to Marceline. Is Marceline planning to skip the city or something? What about the man that got in prison for killing his sister? He did not kill Emily. I did. as a shock, but I had to say it. But that's impossible. Kyle was the one behind Emily's murder. But you got it all wrong. Kyle did not kill his sister. I had to frame him just so the police won't know about what I did. So how long have you been hiding that secret? Not long. And, that's it? You've been hiding your secret and you couldn't want to tell me? Emily was a psycho, okay? She tried to hurt my daughter. And that woman got exactly what was coming to her. But what about Fowlerston? Why do you want to move there? Because it's the only place I wanted to live. Bubblegum used to live there when she was just a kid. And Jake did too. No. No 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 you got this wrong. I'm not wrong Finn. I'm telling the truth. I was the only one who killed Emily in cold blood, not Kyle. If the police find out I did it, I'll flee to Fowlerston. No arguments. So did you guys manage to get any sleep? Outside the cold weather? Hardly. I mean, I still can't believe what has happened. I thought the house was okay, until we realized that everything has gone wrong, very wrong. Yeah, especially with that shower thing. It's not just the shower. Bimo and I discovered a dead body in the bathroom, and Bimo freaked out over it. Gee. This just gets creepier. But let me tell you what's creepier. The truth is, the house we moved to was haunted by bubblegum spirits. I got creepy flashbacks about her and Marceline getting caught in the explosion at the waterfall, and I heard a jack-in-the-box music, although I was only hallucinating about it. So is this why your house was haunted the whole time? I think so. We won't live in that creepy house again, and Bimo and I will look for another house to live in. Shame. All right, I'll go. I'll have to pick the kids up for school. Hey, it's okay. We'll find another house. Yeah, that'd be good. I should only be glad I didn't have to go back to that dump. Neither did I. Ugh. Why do you guys keep leaving the doors open? We would get cold air in here. Sorry, sorry. sorry. It's my fault. It's my yeah, indeed it was. All right. Let's take a look at what we're eating today. Dink. We're running out of food again. Who's been eating all the pancakes? What pancake? We don't have an oven here. Yeah, we could just get one from the electronics store and cook two pancakes at once. That'd be fun. Oh, whatever. We'd rather eat some clownfish because who even needs to eat pancakes anyway? Right, guys? Yeah. Yeah. Mom, what time is it? 7 a.m. We're just eating breakfast. Yikes, I hope I didn't sleep that long. I felt like I've been asleep for a whole week. Hey, don't be too shocked about it. It happens often. Come eat with us, Chuck. Don't get too shy. All right, all right, I'll do it. Do you guys know that there are going to be major rain sweeping through Port Stanton today? Really? Why do we need rain in January anyway? I was expecting snow. Yeah, I was looking forward to building a snowman, making snow angels and all that. So am I. Hey, chill out. It's still January, and we're still hoping for snow. 
Just don't get upset, okay? Hello. Hey. Welcome back. We're so glad you would be here. Did your parents understand that you made a mistake? Yes, they did. I apologized to those kids who bullied me, and they also apologized to me for what they did with me. This flower theft debacle that has been happening for a while is now in the past. Wow, so those bullies have been reformed now? Yeah. Our parents lifted Damien's grounding, so it's time for us to move on. Exactly. Oh, sounds like us. Brenda. Go away. Leave me alone. I don't want to talk to anyone at the moment. Brenda, it's okay. I'm Caleb's mother. What were you doing there hiding in that house? What do you think? My boyfriend is in prison right now, and I am having the most miserable day of my life. What are you talking about? What did he do? He's selling those illegal fireworks online, and he's broken the law. I can't go back to that house after what he's done. Tony is such an idiot. Come on, he couldn't do worse. You still love him, don't you? Thought I trusted him, until he kept going on about the fireworks. He's so obsessed with them that he couldn't get the fireworks off of his hands. But why are you feeling like that? Don't ask me, please, just leave me alone. Brenda, it's okay. You can stay somewhere to- Brenda. Brenda wait, come back. Leave it Caleb. Just leave it. Hi there. What are you doing here? You can't work here. I'm still filling in for you while you're on sick leave, remember? Not anymore. I feel much better now. Can't you see that? It doesn't look like it. As long as I'm here, you're not authorized to be here. Why? Because you think I killed Emily? Is this a joke or what? Look, Emily used to work here as a waitress. Ever since she died, many people are scared of you because they think that they're eating at a place that is owned by a murderer. So I want you to stay away from here. See? You do believe that I was the killer, so why won't you give me a chance? I can't. Okay, I'm standing behind this desk, not you. Hey, what are you doing? I need the book. I need it. Marceline cut it out. Oh, so the Fowlerston mayor was here again, hasn't he? Marceline, stop it. Hey, 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 what's going on here? Marceline has gone crazy, and she keeps going on about Fowlerston. Is this true, Marceline? Are you planning to move there? Finn told me about this. Look, it's none of your business, okay? Just go away and leave me alone. Don't do this, Marceline. Okay? Come on, I'll take you home. You are starting to make a complete fool out of your- You're right. Sorry? You're absolutely right. Everything you said about Emily was true. I did it. I killed Emily Thompson. Marceline. What did you just say? You were right all along. You believed that I was the murderer, and I was. I'm sorry I had to say this in front of everyone, but I didn't know what else I had to do. If you tell the police about what I did, then I'll make sure you'll regret it. <laughs>